Hi! Welcome to this video which is all about applying derivatives in real life and I hope you enjoy. But first, what are derivatives? In mathematics, derivatives is a way to show rate of change that is the amount by which a function is changing at one point. Derivatives are used in math, chemistry, physics, and even in business. Now, let us get straight to it. For example, here is Bob. Bob is an intellectual person and he is walking for hours now to go to the mall. After a few minutes, he became thirsty. Became thirsty for water. After a while, he became frustrated and alas, found a water dispenser. And now I'm gonna draw him closer to quench his thirst. Bob is now feeling okay. For Bob is an intellectual person, he thought of a problem regarding of water. How much water flows out of the faucet during the first 5 minutes the faucet is turned on? Nice thinking, Bob. So here is our problem. A faucet is turned on and water flows at a rate of V times T equals T cube minus 160 squared plus 15 gallons per minute, where t is the number of minutes since the faucet was turned on. To the nearest gallon, how much water flows out of the faucet during the first 5 minutes is turned on? Hmm. So what we want here is the change in the amount of water that has come out from the faucet from t equals to 0 to t equals to 5 minutes. This means we need to integrate v times t from 0 to 5. By the way, integration is a process of finding a function or also known as uh, antiderivative or derivation. Before we proceed, we have to identify first the formula to be used in the problem. The integral of x raised to n dx equals to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c is one of the general rules of integration that is essential in solving our problem where n is exponent and c is our constant. And now we are ready. Let us start solving our problem. The integral of t cubed minus 160 squared plus 15 dt equals t raised to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 minus 1 6 times t raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 15 and, and solve it and we will get 1 fourth t raised to 4 minus 1 over 18 t cubed plus 15 t by following the rules of integration. After that, substitute all t which is time for 5 for we have to know the amount of water that flows out from the faucet after 5 minutes. So. We will get 1 4 times 5 raised to 4 minus 1 over 18 times 5 raised to 3 plus 15 times 5 and, and multiply and we will get the 156.24 minus 6.94 plus 75. Combine the similar and remaining terms and we will get 224.3 or 224 3 over 10 gallons of water that flows out from the faucet in the first 5 minutes the faucet is turned on. Wow! After that thinking, Bob realized to save water when turning a faucet on for a lot of water is being wasted just in 5 minutes. And by that, Bob is happy. And that is all from me, reader. And this is applying derivatives in real life. And I hope you enjoy. See you later. Bye.